Do you know <clears throat> that we have, on average, if we're lucky, 28,500 days to live? That kind of equates to 78 years or so, which is kind of the global average, obviously depending on what country you live in and what circumstances you have. A lot of people are dying a lot earlier. I also know that with COVID, um, which is affecting every single one of us, we all know somebody that's passed away recently. In fact, we might even know lots of people that have passed away recently. A good friend of mine, Alex Granger, who is a speaker and a author and really just a wonderful guy, put on Facebook on Tuesday morning, or was it Tuesday afternoon, that he has COVID and we should keep him in his prayers and Thursday morning he had passed away. And it becomes so clear that we have limited time here on earth. And in fact, I moved back from Dubai to be in Cape Town to be close to my mom and dad so I can go visit them as often as I can and, and just keep as much contact with them as possible because like everybody else, their time is limited. And so my question is, is what are you doing with your time? What are you doing with the finite amount of time that we have available to us? This is not a forever game. This is actually a finite game when it comes to the amount of hours and days and weeks and months and years that we have ahead of us. And I made a video many years ago called The Definition of Greatness. And the more I think about what the definition of greatness is, it's about accessing your genius your God-given talents, as Mark Twain said, the most important days of your life are when you're born or when you find out why. The mission is to find out why and then to share it with humanity. And that becomes really the definition of a life well-lived. So whether you have a passion for gardening or you have a passion for helping dogs or if you have a passion for writing books, why are you waiting? What are you waiting for? What do you think is going to happen that shouldn't have happened already that would trigger you into the space? So I'm writing my new book um, called, which I actually don't even know what it's called yet because I've got a few names, but one of the names that I'm playing with is 10,000 Days. Is Of these 28,500 days, our first 10,000 days are formative. Our last 10,000 days, we want to chill with family. We have these 10,000 days in the middle that we can give all our energy to, all our power to, and all of our passion into. And so as I hear more, more and more friends passing away and more and more parents passing away, I'm both sad for their loss, but I'm also sad for a life not lived. And it, it is, this is very much my own process is, what else should I be doing and could I be doing that could live a more fulfilled life, a more meaningful life? And ultimately, what I've decided to do is to become friends with myself. I, I, I made a post the other day about this internal dialogue that we have at the deep, deep, deep level of that internal dialogue is, are you friends with yourself? Are you scolding yourself? Are you accepting yourself? Are you looking for perfection or are you grateful? And it becomes a daily choice for us to make, um, to become friends with ourselves. So if you are out there complaining, blaming, shaming, angry, frustrated, it really is a good time to let go of those, to find a more positive perspective, to enjoy the rest of our days that we all have left here. I wish you all a long life. But the truth is, with what's going on, it can be taken away like that.